Here's a short demo of how anyone can post produce a webinar or a Zoom meeting recording and get it ready for publishing on the web. No video editing experience is necessary when using Pictory. You will typically have a video that looks something like this. There will be several minutes of chit chat in the beginning of a Zoom meeting recording before your meet of the presentation starts. You will want to introduce a logo of your organization somewhere on the video. You may also want to add some bumpers an intro and an outro to your video. And you will want to add captions to your, to your video since your video will most likely be watched on mute. So let's see how to do that with Pictory. So you simply drag and drop the video file right here and upload it to Pictory. And Pictory uploads the video as well as transcribes the video. Here's the transcription of the video shown side by side with the video. You can see all this chit chat at the beginning. And uh, let's find where the meat of the webinar starts. So I can do a search on the video script. I can say where John actually starts introducing himself. That's where I want the, uh, the webinar to start. And everything before this, I will delete. And there, we've deleted it. Not only are the words gone from the, the transcript, they're actually gone from the video. I can also make some quick corrections to the transcript. And um, also what I can do is I can remove all these filler words. So every time somebody occurs an uh or an um, we can just remove them from the video by just clicking this one button. Now we just choose whether we want to burn the captions on the video or not. And we move to the next. Now what we can do is we can go under brand settings. And we can choose to apply a logo. So this logo, we've chosen to put it on all scenes on the top left. Um, we can have a common outro scene set up that will automatically get applied to all our videos. We can also choose, if we, cho if we show the subtitles, we can choose the font and the, and the color scheme of the subtitles. What we'll quickly now do is add an intro scene manually because I may want to put the title of my webinar in this case, I have my uploaded background visual, so I'm just going to use something like this. And, uh, and now I have the entire project ready to go, ready to publish. I have my logo, I have my intro, I have my outro, and then I simply click generate. And it will take a few minutes and it will generate the video as well as the subtitle files. So there you have it in a few minutes. We've added captions, we've uh, removed the beginning, the end. We've done a bunch of things to make your videos ready to publish on your favorite channels.